would you splash out on a fancy hotel room and have absolutely no intention of staying there? There's a really strange practice going on at Universal Orlando Resort where guests are booking so-called ghost rooms to take advantage of the unlimited Universal Express Pass access that comes with these rooms, but have absolutely no plans to actually sleep in the rooms. Coming up in this video, I'm going to answer your questions on what is a ghost room, the reasons why I wouldn't recommend it, but I will let you in on a tip on how a family of four could save £700 on Universal Express Passes. Hey, this is Stu for Out On Back Travel. If you enjoy this video or find the information useful, please drop me a like as that really helps me out on YouTube. There is a trend where people are booking so-called ghost hotel rooms at Universal Orlando Resort. And we don't mean the Halloween Horror Nights style of ghosts in your room, although that would be really cool. This means booking a hotel room at one of the free premier level resort hotels to take advantage of the unlimited express pass benefit guests get from staying in these rooms, but without actually staying in the room. So how does it work then? Universal Orlando Resort offers great amenities and service at their official on-site hotels. As of 2024, if you stay in one of the free premier level hotels, which are Universal's Portofino Bay, Hard Rock Orlando, and Universal's Royal Pacific Hotel. Every guest in the room gets the two park unlimited express pass, good for use at Universal Studios Florida and Universal Islands of Adventure. Some quick T's and C's, it's good for unlimited use on all attractions with the exception of two, which are Patronodon Flyers in the Camp Jurassic section of Islands of Adventure and Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. And there's also a separate express pass for the Volcano Bay Water Park. You don't skip the entire line, it will be at least 50% shorter than the regular or standby queue line weight. One big flashing condition I would like to point out at this point is that the express passes do not include admission into the theme park and you have to purchase admission separately. Even if you're booking the hotel room, yes the premier level hotels come with express pass but only if you have a valid theme park admission. The unlimited express is good from the day you check in until the day you check out. Therefore, if you book a one night stay in the premier level hotels, you get two days of unlimited express pass, which is where the saving comes from. So why do folks do this? Well, from reading comments and feedback, it seems perhaps large groups prefer staying in suites or villa accommodation suited for their party's needs and don't want to squeeze down into a standard hotel room. Another reason that comes up is folks have very young or elderly family members that just don't want to uproot for the sake of one night. And surprisingly, this came up a lot. People were just too lazy to move their stuff for one night. Here's why I don't recommend ghosting your room. These are three incredible hotels. As of recording, we've been lucky enough to stay in Portofino Bay and Royal Pacific. The proximity to the two theme parks, incredible water taxi service and the luxurious chilled vibes are really exquisite. These are some really special hotels. And just to know that Portofino Bay is probably my all time favorite hotel I've stayed in anywhere in the world. I still dream about that lovely shower. The rooms and beds are some of the most comfortable we've ever stayed in. So if you're booking a room, please do make an effort and actually stay in it and enjoy that overall experience of being on site at Universal Orlando. So now that we're going to actually stay inside the room and have that full Universal experience, can we use a premier level hotel to save some serious money on express passes? Well, absolutely yes we can. As a day guest the Universal theme parks, there's two versions of Express Pass. Universal Express Pass, which is one time per attraction, and Universal Express Pass Unlimited, which is as the name suggests, exactly that, as many times as you like. You can buy these just for one park or for two parks. Again, those two parks being Universal Studios Florida and Universal Islands of Adventure. The version that the premier level hotel guests receive 
is the two park Universal Express Pass Unlimited. So that's gonna be the version we're comparing in our price comparisons. As I am based in the UK, Universal's official website now routes everything through their official UK ticket agent, attractiontickets.com. So we're gonna see how much Express Passes would set you back for four people. Yes, these are the same prices for both children and adults. Everybody pays the same price. And of course, it's over two days. So I've picked a weekend of Saturday the 27th and Sunday the 28th of January 2024. On our particular days, it's £159 for the Saturday and £125 for the Sunday. So for four people for the, both those days, it comes to £1,136. Let's do a quick check on good old Trivago. I'm looking for either Royal Pacific, Hard Rock or Portofino Bay. Remember with Trivago, the big bold flashing rate isn't the cheapest. You need to look for the listed cheaper rate, which is just underneath here. Another factor to point out at this point is to make sure you have the right number of people in your room. As if you just put two people, you're only getting express passes for two people. So we've set it to four to do a little price comparison, although the universal standard rooms will allow up to five people. For every third, fourth or fifth adult in the room, you will pay extra for the hotel room, so bear that in mind. The express passes will be issued to your room key for the room and it will be for a named guest on the ticket. So you won't be able to swap it between people. It's only for the guest explicitly named on your room key. So 27th to 28th of January, we were looking at £1,136 for express passes. However, the cheapest rate on Trivago, I can get Royal Pacific for £429. So that makes it £707 cheaper versus buying the express passes and you get the bonus of staying over the night in a lovely hotel. Let's try a little midweek break. The Express Pass itself will be cheaper as the parks are quieter. Generally, the more popular the day, the more you will pay for Express Pass. This is demand-based ticket pricing, people. So looking at Tuesday the 16th to Wednesday the 17th of January, it's £928 for four Express Passes. And just a quick check on Trivago, I can get Royal Pacific for £395. So that's a saving of £533. So this trick works better if you're in a group of three or more people. But just to change your example down to two people, if you're just a couple, just to show that it still works out a bit of a better deal, it's £464 for those same dates for the Express Passes versus £310 for the room, therefore it's a £154 saving. So still a little bit of a saving, but not as much of a boom as getting three or more of your friends into that room. Don't forget to put them in the occupancy. You'll pay a little bit more for the room, but ultimately dividing it by more people does make it a bit cheaper, and that's why it works out to be bigger savings. Another benefit of booking a hotel room versus just buying express passes is that you can purchase further in advance. Here we can see express passes only go on sale a couple of months ahead, whereas generally you can book hotel rooms years out. So it can be good if you are a super planner and would like the time to budget your vacation and have that reassurance that the passes are confirmed further ahead of time. It's also worth mentioning that express passes can sell out. These are a limited availability product. Therefore, booking a hotel room which you actually stay in, please, is a great way of guaranteeing you have express passes for your trip in the future. So wrapping everything up then, if you are thinking about springing for express passes at Universal Orlando Resort, booking a hotel room at one of the free premier level hotels is a cost-effective way of getting two days of unlimited express pass and of course the opportunity to stay at one of these three incredible hotels so close to the theme parks such amazing rooms such amazing service so what do you reckon out there are you planning a premier level hotel stay to have a taste of that sweet unlimited express pass lifestyle have you stayed at one of the express pass hotels did you feel you got your money's worth out of that unlimited express pass do you even think it's worth having express pass at universal orlando resort or can you do the two theme parks without express pass let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please do share your experiences so we can all learn from each other. And remember, until next time, stay safe on the way out and back.